What's up, my friend? Welcome to Sunday, August 15th, 2021. Get out here and soak up this beautiful nature. You need more of that up in you, my friend. You will be amazed how I, what it opens up and how it makes you feel, right? But I, I got a question for you, right? Because I was thinking, have you ever been in a situation because you're a good person, of course. So have you ever been in a situation where you are with people and you're a giver, you're a good person. You want to see people feel good. You want to help people out, right? But then you find yourself in situations where you take care of everybody else. And then when it's time to take care of you, it's like, I don't have the energy. It's like there's nothing left, right? Because you know what I realized? Your time and energy, right? That's your money, my friend. That's your money. So let's say you got $5 and you're with five people and you want to take care of all of them. They don't have any money. So you give each one of them a dollar. What do you have left, my friend? You get home and you have nothing left. See, what I'm trying to say is that you never should have had $5 once you got with the people because you know what you should have did? You should have took a dollar out for yourself first. So when you got with the five people, it should have been breaking down four dollars, not five. See, what I'm trying to tell you, my friend, is you got to learn to put you first. Just like that. Listen, listen. What good is it to be so committed to helping other people, right? That you neglect to help yourself. That's shameful, my friend. It, comes, it starts and ends with you. Right? So here's the thing. I got a question for you. Here's a hypothetical, right? How much good can you truly be to other people when you're not even at your very best self? Just something to ponder, my friend. And here's another thing. You got to stop allowing the thought, right? It's just the thought of what other people may think and say about you because that's the thing. You got to stop allowing that to cause you to promote them and demote you because that's not fair to you not to mention if they truly cared about you right if they truly had your best interest at heart they would totally understand why you gotta put you first right and here's three reasons why it gotta be you my friend you gotta be first right number one you cannot pour from an empty cup. You can't pour if there's nothing in it. You gotta replenish yourself, my friend. Yup. And number two, this is most important. Never forget this, right? There is no one in all the world, I don't care how good they look externally, I don't care how magical they do that thing, how much swag they got, how much money they got, that's the biggest cop out. That's the biggest 52 fake out people hiding behind money. Nah. That don't last. It don't matter, none of that. There's no one better than you, my friend. You gotta believe that with everything that's in you, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That self-love is the greatest love of all, my friend. The game is both won and lost in the thoughts of your mind. It's all about you. It's all about what's in here. What's on the outside is only a manifestation of what's going on on the inside, my friend. So here's what it comes down to, right? When you're at your best self, right? Feels good, rocking right, in alignment with your truth, everyone wins. Cause you're really proclaiming and giving off who you think you are. But when you're not at your best self, right? You think you're aligned, you forcing it, but you're not all your energy, not aligned, all that. Guess what? Everyone loses, including you. Don't let that be you, my friend, and never forget. You were born to be great.